Hi, so we're in Fusion and we're going to go through a laser cutting workflow. So let's go ahead and uh, create a sketch here. Actually, sorry, I already created a sketch. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and open our sketch back up and take a look. Okay, so here we have it. We have a dimensioned uh, rectangle. Uh, we have a line here and we have a, a circle that's been dimensioned. So we can go ahead and click Finish Sketch or we can just leave this as is. Um, and we can then go on to Sketch 1 and right click and go save as DXF. Okay, here's our DXF file and let's call it, um, that can be any name, let's call it, this is gonna be a, a blade for a wind turbine, so let's go blade.dxf. Okay, so I've gone ahead and saved that and then I saved my file. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna then uh, open up the DXF into um, Inkscape. So uh, the process is going to be that we first create our DXF using Fusion. We open that DXF in Inkscape. We kind of, uh, we uh, change some of the line colors and line widths in Inkscape. We then export it as a PDF. We open that PDF in uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader and then we print from Adobe Acrobat Reader into the laser cutter uh, print utility. So we've done our first step here, and that is to create our DXF in Fusion. So let's go on to step two, and that step two is opening up Inkscape. So we go ahead and click on Inkscape. Uh, and usually this will be in your Windows, uh, uh, Windows menu, uh, already installed on your computer, or it's freely downloadable for, loadable from Inkscape. The Inkscape uh, document will open uh, we're not going to be too concerned about the size of the document. Um, if we want to, we can go to uh, Document Properties, and can we actually we can actually change the size of the document properties uh, to better match our um, our actual um, uh, our uh, uh, laser cutter. But we're not going to do that for right now. Uh, so, but but you can do that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go File and Import. And we're going to go find our DXF. So this is our DXF right here. And double click that. And now we have some options. And what we're going to do is we're going to say Read from File right here. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we'll just click OK again. And there we have our DXF. Now I'm, I'm scrolling to, I'm scrolling the wow, the mouse wheel to move it up. But if I just go up and I move the mouse over the uh, imported file, imported shape here, I can move it onto the canvas. So that's your first step is to move it onto the canvas. Then we're gonna click and drag from the top, left click and drag down to select everything. We're gonna go to object and then to ungroup. So ungroup it first. We're gonna do the same thing again, just select everything, click and drag down to select, and then we're gonna click ungroup a second time. Uh, in that case, it, I couldn't unclick it, which is fine. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go kind of line by line here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the lines, and then if you don't see this fill and stroke over here, we can go up to path and click on where is it here? Oops, sorry, it's not in the path, it's under object, and click on fill and stroke. And basically that gets us to this, uh, this uh, dialogue here on the right. Yours will come up probably on fill, click over to stroke. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch this, uh, this from, there are lots of different options here, so you're gonna change it to RGB. Now our goal here is to make these lines either all the way red or all the way blue and to make them very thin. Okay, so uh, we're gonna control the power of the laser with the color of the line. So in this case, we have red here. We're gonna change that to 255. 255 is max. So all these numbers should be either zero or 255. So we're gonna change these lines, all of them to red. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything again. Okay, we're gonna go to stroke style and then we're gonna change this from millimeters to inches. And notice that it's 0 0.01 inch. We're gonna change it to 0 0.001 inch. So 0 0.001 inch is the line width and enter. Notice that our lines get a little bit hard to see at that point, which is fine. We're gonna go ahead and select another line because remember we wanted we want part, some of these lines to be cut out and we want some to be bent. And so 
What that equates to on the laser is that on red lines, we're going to make it cut all the way through by increasing the power. And on blue lines, we're going to make it cut halfway through by decreasing the power. So in this case, we go back to stroke paint. We've selected the line that we want to, to have less power from the laser on. We're going to change it back uh, 0 on red and 255 on blue to make it all the way blue. And that's it. So, so we've now accomplished what we wanted to accomplish on, on, um, on Inkscape. And now we're going to go ahead and, and uh, save this as a PDF file. So we're going to go File, Save As. And we're going to save it as a PDF. Notice I'm not being very organized with where I save things. Uh, there we go, blade the PDF, and OK. All right, so we have our PDF saved. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and close this in Inkscape. Uh, you may want to leave it open uh, in order to edit it later, but uh, that's not necessary for this video. The next thing we're going to do is we can either go and find, uh, find this document. And if, if uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader has already been set up, uh, then that's fine. Uh, it will just open you know, if it's been set to open PDFs automatically, or you can open it directly. Um, I've tested other PDF readers, um, mainly just Chrome. So, so this won't work from a browser. Like if your PDF opens in a browser, it won't work. So, so I'm going to go ahead and double click this PDF. And notice it opens an Acrobat Reader. And now we're ready to print it. So we're going to actually just go, once it opens up, we'll just go File, uh, Print. And the laser print utility has already been installed. So it should, in our case, it says VLS 6.60. Uh, this is for uh, Universal uh, Laser Systems Laser. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just click Print. Now, at this point, it doesn't seem to do anything. So, so once you click Print, nothing really comes up. But if we go ahead and close out of here, basically what's happened is, is this, it's printed to the queue of the laser printing utility. So and where that is located, It'll be in one of two places. So if you if you open up your system tray here, down to the bottom right corner, you should see this little red icon that if we mouse over says Universal Laser Systems Control Panel. Uh, otherwise, we can go here and uh, and click on uh, UCP. It might be buried down in this uh, this menu here. If we scroll down, the original install would be under Universal Laser Systems here, and it's this UCP. So we can go ahead and click that. And notice that it opens. All right, so now we have we have our uh, we have our um, uh, um, we're calling it design. We have our, we have our lines that are necessary, and we're going to go ahead now. This this relates directly to the laser. So what we can do here is we can do a couple things. This is a simple video, so I'm just going to show you briefly. So if we were to, to locate our material at the top, oop, I just left clicked. If we right click, it unzooms. If we locate our material at the top left corner, we would also locate the, if we locate our, our design at the top left corner, we would also locate our material at the top left corner. So let's say I was cutting this cardboard or paper or plastic. It would be in the le upper left-hand corner of the laser. And the laser should already be set up. That's not what we're talking about in the video. In this video, we're just showing how to operate it. OK, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into settings. And uh, this is going to be different for every material. Uh, we're going to click on, oops, so I did that too fast. We're going to go down to the bottom here, bottom right hand corner, and click on settings. And we'll go to manual control. And depending on the material, this might be different. So if we click on red here, um, you don't need to do anything down to the bottom. Uh, if we click on red, notice that we can, uh, if we decrease the speed, we increase the power, and we increases the pulses per inch (PPI). Then that's going to be more power. So, so basically, if we increase the power, decrease the speed, increase the pulses per inch, basically we'll be able to cut through the material. Uh, that's what will happen without going on another pass. So for red, like I said, we're going to cut all the way through, um, and these settings will be posted next to the next to the laser cutter. So, say if you're cutting cardboard, these settings would be different than if you're cutting paper. Clearly. OK, and then we'll click Set. And then for blue, remember, we want to just cut halfway through, half power. And then we can actually leave it at, uh, at uh, we can actually go to like 50% speed, 50% PPI. And then we can go ahead and click Set. 
All right, so we are at this point ready to cut. Um, we would already have our material inside the laser cutter, and we remember a number of things before we cut. So we're going to turn on the vacuum next to the. Uh, so we're going to we're going to turn on the um, the dust extractor, the fume extractor next to the uh, laser cutter. We're going to turn on the. Uh, air compressor next to the laser cutter. We don't have to change any settings. We're just turning them on and off. Uh, once we're ready to go ahead and cut, um, once the, the, the uh, air compressor and the fume extractor are on, we can go ahead and turn on the laser cutter. We'll click the on button. At that point, the laser, laser cutter will start up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off just so we can, just so you can hear me in just a second. Notice that it starts to initialize. Okay, and we're ready to cut. So, uh, so at this point, uh, if your if your material is inside the laser cutter, it should already be set up for whatever material you're using. Um, the air compressor's on, the fume extractor's on, the laser is now on, and you're just going to hit this green button. And at that point, the laser uh, should start cutting. Uh, when you're finished, make sure to clean out the laser cutter entirely. So take all cut pieces out of the laser cutter to get it ready for the next person. Uh, best of luck.